Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I will be sharing all of my summer must-have products. But before we get into that, you guys probably already know the drill already. I want to invite you all in helping me with getting justice for Breonna Taylor and Elijah McLean. I will be posting links in the description of this video for petitions, GoFundMe pages, and any other links that will help get justice for Breonna and Elijah. And it would be so helpful if you could all join me in doing so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this video started. I have a ton of things to talk about. This will be sort of like a different video for me because I actually have a lot of body products to talk about and then I have a few makeup and skincare items. So if you're interested in seeing what my summer must-have items are, then please keep watching. All right, before I start with the first product, I do want to mention that I'm not actually going to be talking about any sunscreens in today's video because I do want to do an entire video dedicated to just my favorite sunscreens, body sunscreens, face sunscreens, all that good stuff. But I'm going to start this video with talking about some body products. And the first product Product I want to talk about is the Vita Liberata Body Blur. So I love using this product in the summer on my legs. It just makes a beautiful, beautiful color to the legs. You can use it on your arms, on your chest. I specifically like using it on my legs and I guess my arms as well. Um, I do want to say that this does totally dry down. You do need to give it like, I would say like a solid 10 to 15 minutes to let it dry down before you sit somewhere or anything like that in case you don't want to get it on any furniture, clothing, anything like that. So whenever I put this on my legs, I do give it time before I put my shorts on or anything like that. This comes in a variety of different shades. I have the shade Latte Dark, which is great for me. It comes in lighter shades and also has some darker shades as well. But again, this just gives your body just a beautiful, beautiful sheen. It also makes your body a little bit darker. It's almost like a makeup product for your body, but it's not necessarily a body foundation because it doesn't really give much coverage. It just gives a little bit of color and a little bit of a tan look to the body. I also quickly want to mention this brush. This is the Soul Body Body Kabuki brush. I'm actually just taking it out of the packaging because I just got it in the mail a few weeks ago. I got a brand new one this year, but this I love using with any body makeup if you're doing like foundation on your chest or anything like that or products like this that have any color in it. It's just a flat top kabuki. It's really nice and big. It's really soft and it just really helps get the product on very quickly. Another body product I want to talk about is the Patrick Ta Major Glow High highlighting mist. Now this is a highlighting mist for your face. It literally says for face on the bottle, but I love this for my body. It's so easy. It's in a spray can, just shake it up. I put it on my shoulders, on my chest. Sometimes I'll put it on like my kneecaps or on my stomach if I'm wearing like a crop top, which I don't usually wear. But this I absolutely love. It's just, again, it dries super quickly. It just makes your body look so luminous and healthy and glowy. And I just honestly love that it's in a spray can. The next body product I want to talk about is a lotion. This is the Truly Beauty Vegan Collagen Anti-Aging Body Cream for tighter, younger, plump skin. It includes vegan collagen, organic coconut, retinol, and vitamin C boost. So I absolutely love this for sort of like a funny reason. Um, I do love this because it makes your body so, so smooth. The smell is super duper light. It smells just like... It just smells really fresh. It's not like too fruity. It doesn't really smell like vanilla. It's not too sweet. It's just a nice, really light, fresh scent. Um, I love using this after the shower. It gives your body such a healthy, I don't want to say glow because there's no sort of like sparkles or glitter or anything like that. It just gives your body like a really beautiful sheen because it just makes your body like so healthy. I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but the reason I specifically love this for the summertime is because I feel like every time I use this on my legs after I shave, it prevents my leg hair from growing like faster than it would. My leg hair unfortunately grows really freaking fast. Like literally, I always make the joke with my husband, like if we go to the beach and I shave my legs at 8 a.m. by 4 p.m. I have like a shadow there. Um, but I feel like when I use this, I don't know if it's the retinol in there. I don't know. It's not advertised to do that. It's just something I've noticed specifically with this cream. But overall, this cream is awesome if you have dry, dehydrated skin. If your legs get really dry in the summer from being out in the sun, this is absolutely awesome for that. Next up, I have two products that I love using at the beach. 
So first up is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. This is their fragrance, their signature fragrance that's in all of their products, especially their Bum Bum Cream, if you're familiar with that. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. This I absolutely love specifically for the beach because when I'm at the beach, I'm sweating, I'm in the sun, I'm going into the water. And a lot of the times when I'm at the beach with my girlfriends or my husband, afterwards we like to go get a bite to eat or something like that. So I just like keeping this in my beach bag just to refresh spritz it on my chest, spritz it maybe under my underarms, and then I am good to go and I'm just smelling so good. I also love this product. This is the Avene Eh Thermal, Thermal Spring Water. This is literally just spring water in a spray can. I just really like this because it's really nice and refreshing. It's really inexpensive. I usually buy this from CVS or Ulta. It also comes in a bigger size, which I have as well, but this little size I like taking with me to the beach or if I'm laying out or if I'm doing like a hike or anything like that. It's really nice just to spritz this on. It's really nice and hydrating and just refreshing. Next up, I wanted to talk about some glowy face products. I have three here to talk about. I have the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion, the Pacifica Mineral Bronzing Face Shade Coconut Glow, and I have the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw these two products. These are my Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Dupes. Both of these are great for just bronzing the skin, making the skin look super healthy. You can mix them in with your SPF, you can mix them in with your moisturizer, or anything like that, and it just gives a really nice glowy bronzy sheen. I do want to mention that the Pacifica is a two-in-one product because this has sunscreen in it already. But the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion, I love like to mix in with a sunscreen or a moisturizer and it just gives a beautiful bronze glow. I also did want to mention the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. This I would say is much more similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filters. I just forgot the name for a second. Um, this comes in four shades and I like using this sort of as like a primer or mixing it in with my foundation. You can use also the L'Oreal Lumi to mix in with your foundation if you want to make it a little bit more bronze, but I do prefer mixing this in with an actual like lotion or sunscreen, whereas this I prefer mixing in with an actual foundation or using it with a primer, but it kind of gives like a similar look where it makes like a really nice bronzy sheen to the skin. I do also want to mention with this product, I really like this because it dries down almost completely like if you were to put the charlotte tilbury flawless filter on your face or this it they're almost more of like a lotion consistency where they don't dry down as much if that makes sense but this dries down pretty much completely so if you have oily skin and you want a really good product to make your skin just have that like really nice glowy bronzy base i would highly recommend this next up i have some makeup products i want to talk about and the first thing i want to mention is the ColourPop Liquid Highlighter. They only have one shade. This is the shade Champagne Bubbles. I love this highlighter. I've spoken about it before on my Instagram. I love this as a face highlighter, but I wanted to mention it here because I love this for the body as well. It's similar to Patrick Talk because I can just put it really easily on my body. I also sometimes mix this in with like a lotion if I just want my legs to look nice and shiny and healthy. But this I really, really love. And for the face, this dries down completely. So if you're like me and you get sweaty in the summer, you get oily in the summer, all that fun stuff, this is not going anywhere. So I love this. Next up, I wanna talk about two foundations. I have one drugstore and one high-end. So the drugstore one I have is the L'Oreal Palace Infallible Pro Matte. And the high-end one I have is the Dior Face and Body. I feel like if you follow me on Instagram, you've heard me rave about this foundation. I love this foundation. It is incredible. It is a medium to full coverage with a really, really natural finish. And I feel like this is the one foundation that you can truly, truly say that it will work for all, all, all skin types. If you're super dry, this will work for you. If you're super oily, this will work for you as well. I just love this stuff. This stuff dries down completely. It's a very, very liquidy consistency. Dries down completely. It does not go anywhere. I've worn this when it's been 100 degrees in New York and like 60% humidity, it does not budge, it does not melt off your face, nothing, nothing, nothing like that. And if you are very dry, I do have combination skin, so I do have dry spots on my face. This does not cling to anything, it does not accentuate texture, it does not accentuate pores, it is just fan fantastic and again it's a natural finish and you can really sort of like play with the finish if you set this down with a powder it'll be matte if you sort of leave it and put a dewy setting spray it'll be definitely a little bit more dewy so this is just such an awesome versatile product and i love this stuff i also want to mention this foundation i think this is an awesome 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 foundation from the drugstore it is very very matte so if you are very very dry i don't know if i would recommend this 
but I absolutely love this for the summer because I know when I'm using this, it is not going anywhere. I can wear sunglasses. The sunglasses aren't getting like lines on my nose or anything like that. This is just awesome. This is also awesome if you have combination skin like me. I get super duper oily on my nose and there are some days that I don't want such matte or full coverage of a look. So what I'll do is, is just put this on my nose and blend it out with my other foundation that I'm wearing all over and this just works beautiful at controlling any of the oils. The last two items I wanna talk about are a setting spray and a setting powder. I'll start first with the setting powder. This is the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder and I have the shade Medium. I absolutely love this setting powder. I think it's great for all seasons, but I usually gravitate using this more towards the summer. I always keep this in my purse if I'm wearing makeup and I'm going out, but I just love this. I think it's a super soft powder, if that makes sense. It is called Hydrate and Set, and what I like about this is that you can put a lot of this on and you don't really see the powder on your skin, and I don't know, it just has a way of sort of like melting into the skin like you don't even need a setting spray to melt this in i just really really love this it's great like i said to keep on the go in your hand back with a brush it's not a powder that you put a little bit on you see powder all over your face it doesn't give you a white cast in pictures or like a flashback in pictures i guess is more what i'm trying to get out and i don't know i just love this powder i also am a with this makeup forever setting spray if you saw my may favorites i spoke about this i love this this is a mini size i definitely need to get the full size of course i lost the cap what's new but i love this this is their light velvet air setting spray and it's just total shine control it makes your skin look beautiful and poreless and it just gives your skin this velvety gorgeous gorgeous finish if you're more oily i highly highly recommend this if you're a combination to oily i would highly recommend this in the winter or when it was like a little bit cooler i was still using it just really in my t-zone but now i use it all over my face it just makes the makeup look so gorgeous and velvety and amazing and i can't say enough good things about it it really does a fantastic job of keeping all of my oils at bay and i am just obsessed with this all right that's it for this video those were all of my summer essential items that i absolutely love let me know if you have any recommendations for me down in the comments and i will see you in my next video bye